really great to get James from Autonomy joining us today. Yeah, hi. Thanks for having me. Cool. James, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, I mean, I been interested in crypto for like many years, um, kind of aped in, like dropped out my the last year of uni in 2018. Um, <laughs> once I saw people actually yeah. like building stuff and like raising money and everyone's getting hacked and like building all this cool stuff. It was yeah. just like way more, yeah, way more fast paced than uh, that I was I was in a quantum computing mm -hmm. lab uh, at uni and it was just like academia was like very slow paced. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, worked for a bunch of companies and just yeah. Been pretty obsessed since like uh, all my like own side projects yeah. and doing like chain analysis stuff like the FBI and stuff and building. really yeah yeah, um, yeah there were clients like a company similar to similar to chain analysis like mm -hmm, company mm -hmm. um, and like building like uh, consensus uh, implementing consensus on flow like mm, that was thing cool stuff. building dexes and yeah just um, yeah. yeah so so how did you come up with the idea of autonomy. Um, I think that it's in 2019, mm -hmm. you know, GSN, the gas station network, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like off chain relay thing, yeah. meta transactions. Um, I was kind of looking at that and I was like, well, they don't have to send the transactions on like immediately, like they could hold on to them for whatever, right. whatever purpose. And uh, like, but holding on to them would be like an off chain decision that's mm -hmm. like kind of not enforced. So I was thinking like, if you could, you know, put that on chain and like enforce these conditions. Mm -hmm. um, and like I went to a, a SF blockchain week 2019, mm -hmm. um, uh, got a prize for doing it, but um, nice. just for like automatically lending on one protocol and as rates become better elsewhere to withdraw mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. lend at the other place. Yeah. Just to like automatically manage a, you know, um, balance portfolio or whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was like too early, I think. Uh, <laughs> and then like DeFi summer happened yeah. and like all this, Bond exactly, and like, now there's yeah, so much time. demand, right? Yeah, exactly. But you also also look into how NFT, there's so much like airdrop and things to manage as well. What are some of the automated automation and process that uh, you see strong demands for? Yeah, I think that like, mm -hmm. um, so it's very ironic that like yeah. we're, we're trying to build like the next generation of NFT stuff because right. yeah. uh, Honestly, I think 99.9% .9 of NFTs yeah. right now are going to go to zero in like six months. <laughs> sure, they are Just, more like having experiments rather than any yeah, create any like sustainable value yet. Exactly, and like I think some are you know are valuable and will retain value like with regular like physical mm -hmm. art. Mm -hmm. But um, I think NFTs can be used for a lot more than just like being mm -hmm. expensive JPEGs. Uh, <laughs> like if NFTs can actually do stuff, yeah, that's. I mean, that's what we do. Like, mm -hmm. they can't do things on their own. And like, right. if you had to have a human trigger right. doing a thing, like exactly. the human might as well just do it themselves. Like, right. what's the point of using the NFT? Yeah. So, um, if, yeah, if you can have these systems that like do things right. that are like represented in an NFT, you know, you can send this entire system, like transfer this entire system mm -hmm. to someone else. Like, almost like you can transfer a business. That, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, for my talk at LizCon, um, I had the example of for, for the first NFT of like a arbitrage bot on us like a stable coin pair so it's just really? the only time it makes a transaction is when you know it gets more of the other stable coin right so like it has this constantly increasing amount and it right. fuels its own because like it has to pay for the gas cost yeah because it essentially makes its own transactions right and um yeah it's uh something like that can't be done like without That's right. autonomy i think those are the most kind of interesting use cases yeah um, i can tell um the last question will be you have won so many hackathons, it seems, to like coming back, you like the culture here. How has the journey been, like going to hackathons and traveling to to, to build a project, ideas? Yeah, I mean, uh, I love it. I, it's, <laughs> uh, it's, um, yeah. it's, it's always a great experience. Like, obviously, because of COVID, mm -hmm. it's been a while. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you always meet like the best people at hackathons. Yeah. People yeah. are really, you know, they're, they're here because they love it. You know, mm -hmm. they're not just here just to get a paycheck or, or whatever so yeah and the fact that there are so many like um DeFi project if not some political project too to come here whether to mentor and just like, ask you guys question give feedback it does seems that uh, the builders just love to like really come down together for a few days to really bring song yeah exactly yeah, yeah. i mean uh love building <laughs> yeah can't wait to see your result tomorrow um yeah. can't, i can't wait to uh, test our product yeah. awesome yeah thanks, yeah. Man. thanks james yeah. cheers cheers